around a year ago or probably six to seven months ago we had made a video on the campaign about hike in fellowship and i had suggested even we met the dst officials also about uh hike in fellowship and we had uh, approached them for a 75000 rupees per month fellowship and uh, yeah we faced a lot of resistance and so far we have no you know update even though i have i'm continuously pursuing uh, the department officials as well as uh, my resources and people from inside are also doing that but in this video i'm going to tell you why exactly this scholarship hike is getting delayed or you're not getting it or there is no announcement happening now the first things first is government is the largest company in this world and it's so huge that the right hand doesn't know the left hand okay so that's where if you want the fellowship hike you have to make them aware that you exist okay and that is where i feel i'll not mince my words i'm going to tell you bluntly generally i don't do that i do it in a very no, uh, humble way but i'm going to tell you bluntly that none of us none of you none of us are organized and united okay so when we make a video about this people uh, comment saying uh, you doing it for views no we are not doing it for views we really genuinely want to help and that's what we have been doing and we want to create that awareness so that people can come together now the second thing there is a lack of leadership and i'm thankful to the all india uh, association of uh, research scholars and they have constantly been tweeting to uh, various department officials about this uh, fellowship hike but i believe we need to empower them and i have a solution for that also i am an entrepreneur i always come up with solutions i'll tell you that as well so the first thing is there is a lack of awareness in the government right and that is where when you people are not united and there is no clear leader who will reach out to the department and say that see this is something you got to do because we are suffering then the department won't bother right they will just do uh, polishing on the top and say okay uh, we are thinking about it or we had a meeting but what's the outcome there is no outcome right the second thing is see government has its own priorities for, for example right now karnataka elections are the priority or for uh, maybe 3 months later something else will be the priority next year the central government elections will be the priority right so they have their own priorities but your priority is to get the hike so you all have to come together right under the aegis of say the all india research scholars and now many of you are just aspiring research scholars like you have not qualified csi net and gate and you are going to qualify in the future you are like okay why should i bother because if it happens we'll get it if it doesn't happen i should not at least virtually you can support these research scholars because you see uh, many of this research scholars i know they start their phd at the age of 28 okay and or 27 and now it takes up to 34 by the by the time they finish their phd they have children also right so they have to support their children they have to support their family and in that small to 28 30000 rupees how would they do it correct now i want to add one more point right i want to put my heart out to this problem see recently csi rhd ji has come up with a regulation and it is very clearly said that if you are doing a phd they are treating you like a employee so there will be reviews every after every 2 years 3 years that's very good i i appreciate that but it is written that you cannot take up employment elsewhere part time or full time right now you are paying 30000 rupees right and now this phd scholar has to survive he has to you know pay for his family bills his lab bills his uh, you know all other bills and now he can't work anywhere right like many research scholars used to work in some coaching institute to earn some extra pocket money so that they could at least contribute right so they were surviving now that also is cut so if the hrdg gets to know that you were working elsewhere they can actually throw you out from the from your phd right so you are coming up with new rules you have time for framing new rules you don't have time for increasing the fellowship i think that's unfair on the part of hrdg on the part of tst on the part of every research scholar who is suffering right now okay so i'm sorry to say we must come together now very proudly we all say that by 2047 25% of the researchers in this world will be from india but we are forgetting one point if we do not hike the research fellowship of these people you know what will happen they'll be stolen from us so we paid for their schooling we paid you know we nurtured them in the college now they're they're becoming research scholars after their phd they will be stolen 
by who korea south korea they'll be stolen by america usa they'll be stolen by uk london they'll be sto uh, stolen by european union they'll be stolen by russia china and now the same scholars will go there they'll work and they'll earn good money and they will do research now those countries will progress in science while we will be just a backyard we will just be providing the manpower is is that not wrong so if you are from dst or if you, even if you are from any part of india if you're watching this video i believe you all have to come together okay i alone cannot do that right and i'm not going to you know ask you to do this do that whatever you feel is the right thing do it at least voice your opinion don't keep it inside right like i'm doing i'm just voicing my opinion and that is what will happen if these people start getting at least 50000 60000 75000 rupees fellowship see the first thing is they will pay more interest into research right if money is kept aside these research scholars will give their life to their research i know a lot of them they, they stay there for 18 hours they sleep in the lab floor still do the research in ic bangalore in many many places they work in the lab they sleep in the lab and then they do their research but the money they are getting is not motivating them second we will not be able to take india to the next level if these research scholars are not empowered today's student today's research scholar is tomorrow's scientist if you want a abdul kalam in 2047 that abdul kalam has to be nurtured today you can't just say no 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 it's uh, we are thinking we are uh, in process funds are not allocated elections are there so we are delaying you can't just say that see these are the answers i got from various officials in various uh, ministries okay so i'm telling you this is not happening we have to come together now next thing which i have to tell you is you have this ramalinga swami uh, reentry fellowship why do you need that also if you are able to retain your current researchers they will never go out right some people will go for you know hobby of course but many majority will not go they'll stay here right now another thing is we have to promote and make research a glorious thing right where, where children are making shahrukh khan and salman khan as their role model we have to make this research scholars as the role model right for the great work they are doing we have to recognize them whether they are able to publish paper or not doesn't matter they, for the effort right we have to do we have any such thing in our country we don't have right so i think overall the scholarship hike of uh, csir net or for that matter ugc net is the right thing to do you must demand we must demand we must come together there's a lack of awareness in the government there's a lack of prioritization in the government and you guys are you know in different different parts of india you are split and uh, you know uh, you are not united so if you all don't unite under one leadership how do you think government will pay, will even pay attention right so if the government is not paying attention if you are not a sizable number they will not bother right now i'm not asking you to go and do anything illegal and go and uh, fight in the dst no at least come together under a forum or at least uh, you know have some uh, under the aegis of uh, your all india research scholars association or whatever may be possible right so that's the actionable insight i have is if you do not mind my words if you do not unite now next year is election season after that it's not happening okay after the government has won election they will the new government will come they will not bother this is the right time to accelerate this hike in fellowship uh, campaign and if you want to do that please share this video to all your uh, friends whether you are a phd aspirant whether you are a research scholar or whether you are a scientist everybody has to come together right it's for the sake of science it's for the sake of our country's progress if we are able to support these research scholars they are going to empower our country in the need of the hour right pfizer scientist for was an indian who developed that mrna vaccine right he was a bioinformatician if that guy was in india we would have done it right that's what i'm saying we are losing our talent we, we are using our losing our children our kids to the foreign countries because they are just showing money why the government is not showing money show the money there's no problem right see at the end of the day these research scholars also have to pay their bills and if we are not able to allow them to do that and now you have a rule that you, they can't work outside also 
right? Imagine. I think we need to do some serious thinking here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.